Is there any data where you look at people who are not breastfed and, and look at what happens with their plasmalogens, their ability to produce plasmalogens? Does that become compromised? Well, we don't know that directly. What we do know is that the plasmalogen manufacturing of the baby starts late in the third trimester. So plas babies are basically born plasmalogen deficient. And so that those babies that are, born, that are breastfed have better brain development lower rates of autism, quite dramatically lower rates of autism in breastfed babies versus non-breastfed babies because formula, infant formula doesn't contain any plasmalogens um, or other immuno-supportive um, molecules that are, that are part of, of, of breast milk. But the plasmalogens play a critical role. So we know the correlation pretty strongly. We know the blood levels of plasmalogens in children. Um, and like everything, there's a distribution, right? Yeah. Like there's some people that can, <clears throat> they can live in a mold-filled house and never know it. And some people, they just get a sniff of mold and they're, they're out of commission for, for two weeks.